Hello, Cyphers community, and welcome back to another World Tanks console video. So, in this video, I'm going to be um, going over three of tanks I think are underrated. So, these are going to be three tier tens, and I'm excluding premium tanks for this video. So, yeah. And let's just get on to it. So, let's just talk about the first tank. The first tank I want to talk about is the Amex M4. 54. So this tank is a tier 10 super heavy French and it usually gets overshadowed by the Andre the Giant So this tank actually gets two guns. It gets a 120 millimeter. Okay, let's Reverse let's talk about the 130 millimeter gun Which is the same gun that the Andre the Giant gets but with better stats it gets a 130 millimeter gun with a DPM of 2100 penetration on standard 257 on standard 300 premium aim time is 2.3 accuracy is 0.37 and this tank also has a really good gun depression at 82 degrees a second now the other gun is the 120 millimeter does 400 damage per shot besides instead of the 560 that the 130 does it also has 2308 DPM Penetration is 264 in standard, 315 on its premium. Aim time is 1.8 seconds and accuracy is 3.5, uh, 0.35. Still with the 8 degrees of gun depression. So the mobility is also faster than the Andre the Giant. This is a super heavy, by the way. This tank is classified as a super heavy because of just how good the armor is. And it's fast for a super heavy. It goes 44. 15 reverse with a power to weight ratio of 15. So it also has 2,200 hit points. I quite low for a super heavy. And yeah, so let's talk about the armor. The armor is impressive. So we're going to be using tanks GG. So this is the Amex M454. So here, this is 220 millimeters. So I'm gonna since this is. Tank GG, this is PC stats. I'm going to be correcting some of the stuff right quick. So, this is the same for console. It's 220 millimeters up here. This part up here is 100. This part down here is 120. So, keep that in mind. And this part right here on PC is 150. Ours is 100. It's 220. So, this is actually matched up with the console version. Well, 220. 220 right here 120 100 for PC uh, for console So yeah, also the turret armor is fine. The upper play is fine, but remember this is stronger This is stronger. Yeah, 240. So it's the same. Okay, cool So this is a beastly armor tank like this is without even using your gun depression or angling just face on this is 320 330 millimeters of armor right there in the front all the way around like these are supposed to be stronger and this is going to be stronger on console you can actually side scrape with this tank like this because this is going to be way stronger and this is stronger also so this is going to be about 300 millimeters effect in this 320 300 something like that so you can actually side scrape with this on console and you have the two weak points up here they're both 100 millimeters thick and but if you use your eight degrees of gun depression like this you're you hide your lower plate you can st still get shot right here they can over match this spot if they have 120 millimeters of armor 120 millimeters 121 millimeter gun or higher they can actually overmatch or if they shoot like this they can pin through the tracks and pin right there so keep keep an eye out on that but when you're using your eight degrees of gun depression not many tates can actually shoot through this like this is very very effective like this super heavy is really good it's fast for a super heavy it has really good armor especially when you're using your eight degrees of compression and it has two guns options like this tank is just really really good and this is supposed to be like 300 millimeters effective so if you're angling like this this is like perfect Remember, this is 300 and something. Right now, it's 150 on PC, but 220 on console. So this would be about 300 to 320 millimeters of effectiveness. So this would be red. So good luck pinning this tank when you're facing like this. You can angle 
like the best they could pan is like right here. Well, actually, no, this is more effectiveness on consoles. So basically, they only pan down here when you're angling. So it would be like 283 millimeters of penetration. Basically, we're, they have to load premium against this tank. Or aim at the little cupolas, but those are small. So let's move on to the second tank. So the second tank I'm going to be talking about is going to be the IS-4. Another, it's, I don't think the IS-4 is actually considered a super heavy. I don't remember. But it should be because the armor of the IS-4 is just really, really good. Like it's really good. But we're not going to talk about the armor right quick. We'll talk about that in a second. So the armor, I mean the gun, is a 122mm gun. That's 440 damage per shot. DPM is 2,398. Penetration is 258 on standard, 340 on its premium. Aim time is 2.6 seconds, accuracy is 0.38, and it has 6 degrees of gun depression. Mobility is 43.4 and 14 reverse. Its power weight ratio is 12.33, and it has decent view range at 400. So it's fast, it's got a good gun, and it has a decent view range. And it also has 2,500 hit points, one of the most healthiest tier 10 heavy tanks in the game. So let's talk about the IS-4. Correction on tank CG right quick. So this is 155 millimeters of armor right here. On console, this is 160. On console, this is 100, this is 160. And that's the only correction here. So this is 160 on console, so right now it's like 258 to 270 effectiveness. So it should be like uh, 260 to 280, I would say, effectiveness of the upper plate. Because this is supposed to be 160 millimeters effectiveness. But either way, so the armor of the IS-4 is 160 at the front, the lower plate is 180, the side armor is 160. The IS-4 has more side armor than most tanks have frontal armor. The back armor is actually, it's, it's okay, it's 100 at the back, 120 at the top, so you can actually angle that a little bit, somewhat. Like, also, <laughs> IS-4 is just insanely good, like, 6 degree de gun depression, being like that, use that. This is going to be like 320 millimeters effectiveness. So, hydro lower plate, 320 millimeters effectiveness, and yeah, that's what you're looking at. Like, good luck. Hide that, and they're going to have to shoot premium rounds. But the IS-4 comes in its own when it's side scraping. Also, you, it also has the same weak point as the Amex M454. Of where people can actually shoot through the tracks and pin it through the upper hole on th where the tracks are But it's a very low-lying tank, so it's going to be really hard So when it comes over the cliff like over a ridge lane, that's where you can shoot it at anyway So the IS-4 Remember this is going to be more effective on console. So this would be like 290 295 We can angle like this and basically say good luck penning me because this is now 250 to 260 this is 280 to 290 oh my goodness okay yeah that's 280 290 right there and this is like 300 and good luck penning the sides because yeah because the is4 crazily good like you could even over angle like this which I do a lot in this tank. Now, I want to show you how effective this, this is. Now, obviously, they can still shoot the lower plight, but remember, they have to shoot here. So there's two track lines. Here, I'll show it. How do I visual? So there's two tracks. So there's tracks right there on the IS-4. That gives it the 180. If you put it to the side, that's 160. With the tracks right there, it's 180. So if we get to live collisional, so this is very hard to hit. The little weak points right here are going to be really hard to hit. But that's going to be 260, 270, loading premium against the IS-4. Even when angled like this is not very efficient. 
as you can see, it's 280, 290 millimeters of armor right there. That's 400, good luck pinning that. Um, you could pin right here, like, even this. This is really hard to pin, like, even angled like this. This is how the IS-4 likes to be angled. Your upper plate is impenetrable, pretty much, at 320 millimeters effectiveness, or 305, who knows. Do you have this? This is your weak point when angled like this, and it's not really a weak point when it's 280 to 3. Like, good luck pinning. And if you load heat, like most tier 10s have heat rounds as a premium. So you can't shoot here because your heat rounds will just get absorbed. You can shoot here, but it's like you gotta have really good heat penetration to go through this. You can shoot here, that's 340, good luck. The only place you can really actual pin here is like here. So the IS-4 is extremely good, especially if it's side scraping around a corner, which it can side scrape like this and good luck pinning this. Like that's up, farther you go this way, more effectiveness it gets. 900, like good luck. Even era 3 tanks are going to struggle pinning this tank. That's a thousand millimeters of effective, effective armor. Era 3 tanks even struggled to pin this tank. Think about that. That's how good the armor is of the IS-4. Now, even this is 340 millimeters, 340 millimeters of penetration, of heat penetration. Like, let's do this gun depression you're still <laughs> you still don't have the best chance of pinning this like hello you can pin here that's 300 millimeters of effectiveness but this is remember this is 160 on console so this is more armored on console like even using six degrees of gun depression even throwing 340 millimeters of penetration on this thing it's just really really powerful like this is premium rounds that's why I laugh. Like, I play the IS-4, and I'm like, please shoot your premium rounds at me, and I'll just laugh because you're just spending more silver to bounce off me. Because, good luck! I love the IS-4. It's just so fun. So, anyway, that's enough talking about the IS-4. Let's go on to the third and final tank. Alright, so the third and final tank I want to talk about is the Tier 10 Chinese Medium Tank. The 1-2-1. So the 121 is like a medium slash heavy tank. It's classified as a medium tank, but it kind of acts like a heavy tank. But it also has the mobility more as a light tank, slowish light tank. But it also has the armor as a heavy tank, but also has the gun as like a medium heavy tank. So let's just go over the 121. It has 1,950 hit points. It has 400 meters of view range. Its gun is a 122 millimeter gun, doing 440 damage per shot. Its DPM is 2,750, which is really good. Its penetration is 258 on its stair, 340 on its premium. Its aim time is 2.5. Its accuracy is 0.35. Now, the gun depression used to be terrible in this tank. This used to be one of my first tier 10 uh, first tier tens. It was one of my first five tier tens. I sold it because I didn't like it. I rebought it back and I was like, oh, this tank is actually really, really good. I sold it because it had 3.5 degrees of gun depression. Then they buffed it to 5 degrees. Well, it had 3.5 degrees of gun depression. I sold it. Bought it back. It still had 3.5 degrees of gun depression. And I loved it though. Then they buffed the gun depression to 5 degrees. And now it had 7 degrees. So I don't know when they buffed it to 7 degrees, but. I didn't even know this tank had 7 degrees, but that's a lot <laughs> for how good this tank is. So anyway, 7 degrees of gun depression. Um, its mobility is 56 forward, 20 reverse, with a power to work ratio of 17.44. And also, it has a very low fire chance of getting set on fire at 12%. So let's go to the 1 to 1 on PC. I'm going to talk about a little bit. So, on console, so everything is fine. So there's two things wrong about the 121 that doesn't line up. 
with the consult version of the tank. So let's go over that a little. So first of all, on PC, it, this tank has five degrees of gun pressure. Five degrees. Ours has seven, so yeah. So basically it'd be angled like that. And here's your other problem. Here's the other problem that our tank doesn't line up with. So on PC, it has 135 millimeters of armor on its upper plate. But on console, it has 120 millimeters. So this is not as efficient, as effective as it should be. So this would be like, um, I would say about 190, maybe 180 millimeters of effective armor right here. So yeah, you're going to like bully tier eights in this tank with the armor. But when you're using your seven degrees of gun depression angling like this, you're still going to be pretty effective. But your turret armor is actually really, really good. What's the turret armor actually? It's a 240, which is the same as console. So you also have these little weak points, but you're a low lying tank. You're fast. That gun reloads insanely quickly, but it's almost 3000 DPM. And you can also, and also angle. You can also side scrape. And this tank. The 121 is just a really good tank with a high DPM. And it hits hard at 440. It's not like the Soviet medium tanks where they're doing like 320 damage per shot, but also have really good DPM. This one has both. It has the alpha and it has the DPM. So yeah. And it also has the quite a bit of better armor than the Soviet medium tanks. It can go hold down with its turret armor. Yeah, it can get pinned right there. But if you're wiggling back and forth, people are probably more likely are going to be hitting this spot up here because it's way bigger and this is also a very low lying tank you can get up to people's sides and they're not going to be able to hit you like um e75s like tall tanks you get to their sides and this tank will just stay under their side there's nothing they can do about it and it's just a really really fun tank so that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All the brand stuff fish because watch that. And peace out. See ya.